Here we are in the garage with the K241 off my 1984-210. I've been getting bugged by some people to give updates on what's going on with some of my tractors. So uh, I have uh, decided to start working on it again. i got to go to work in a little while tonight. I'm working nights right now. It kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Um, so, what was I going to say? Yes, um, I just got the oil pan off, and it is exactly as it looks. I haven't cleaned it yet or anything. This is the extent of the sludge buildup in my oil pan. It is almost spotless, except for the little tiny smears. Uh, there's a what's left over of the oil when I uh, put the engine... Um, or when I drained it, that's what's left of the oil in there. You can see the counterweights for the compression release right there on the bottom of the cam gear. Camshaft looks like it's in very good shape. Everything in this engine looks like it's in very, very good shape. So I'm very pleased with all that. Um, I will have to uh, replace the gasket here, but I bought a whole gasket set for the engine, so that will not be a problem, as I already have it. Okay, the bottom of the piston looks dark from crap, but that's not a problem. I'll get it all cleaned up when I get it out. I'm going to have to untwerk these here, and I will pop the piston right out. So that way I will appear that I have accomplished something tonight, and I will be happy with myself. Yay. Where, oh where is the governor gear? There it is. I see the governor waves. We up in there. Yep, that's them. Um, you can kind of there they are. That's a governor weight. That orangey thing. I believe that they are nylon. So let me get this uh, here uh, piston out of the cylinder. Ooh, cool. I'm happy that this thing is in such nice shape. I knew it was in pretty good shape. It's just tired. It's got a lot of hours on it. I'm sure. It's never been apart until now. And I could tell trying to get this oil pan off. Boy, that was fun. It was stuck on there pretty good. Just glad it's not rusted out or dinged up or anything too badly. Got a small dent right here. You can kind of see it. I'm not sure what that's from. But otherwise, it's in pretty good shape. Got the deeper oil sump. So this one here holds more oil than my 1977 210 by, I think, half a quart. I think my other one holds about half a quart. This one here, no, I don't remember. I don't remember what the capacities are, but I know this one takes quite a bit more oil than the other one does because of the the deeper oil sump that hangs down into the frame, keeps it a little bit cooler. Just a, a nice little feature that they put on it, kind of beef it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to be hopefully replacing this gasket on the shaft here because this is one of the places where it leaks oil drips it all down the front of the engine here um, otherwise there really isn't any other leaks in this engine that I've known of I've never had these covers open on either of my 210s since I bought them points have never given me a problem and I don't think they've ever been opened up since they were new so uh, I don't know if I will be opening it or not I don't want to jinx myself uh, the fuel pumps seem to work fine on both the tractors without a problem. Let me get this uh, piston out of here before I forget. Alrighty, yo. Um, here it is. Boy, that doesn't look bad at all. Let's see if I can get my lighting better. Let me rotate this here block. They are nice and shiny. There really isn't any noticeable scoring or bad spots on the crankshaft there. Looks very, very nice. Uh, piston. Well, there's something odd about the piston. Let me, let me show you what I mean. It's in very nice shape. The bearing surfaces on the insides. You can see in the camera here some very, very, very light scoring in there. You can't really even feel it. It's really, really shallow bearings are in excellent shape but here's what's odd you can see that right 
What the hell happened there? It's only this one side of the piston. Let's see, there's a little drain hole. So that would be on the camshaft side of the engine. There's no marks in the cylinder. There's nothing suggesting that uh, this happened while it was in the engine. It might have been pre-assembly. I gotta clean it up and see if um, if this even is affecting the piston, but it looks like little gouges in the top of the piston. I'm not quite sure what would have done that. But there's, there's nothing wrong with the cylinder, the bore. The bore in this engine looks excellent. I have no problems at all just giving it a hone. Nice and clean and real nice shape. This is a really nice engine. This thing will take a rebuild really well. So uh, I'm putting a, I'm hoping to put the stock piston back in. I'm not having to replace the piston. I didn't buy another piston. I didn't buy another rod. So I'm going to be putting this all back in hopefully. But I'm going to be looking over that piston real close. But I'm really happy with what I'm seeing so far.